growing water sport in the world. And this weekend, teams from all along the West Coast are dragon boating in the fight against cancer with Team Survivor Northwest. Team Survivor Northwest um, supports women cancer survivors through physical activities and health education. Okay. So we have lots of different programs for women of all different cancers, all different levels of fitness, um, in treatment, recovery, and one of our programs is dragon boating. Mary Kay McCoy and this entire boat are members of Team Survivor Northwest and the Survivor Sake Dragon Boat Team. And spending the afternoon on their boat for a recent practice, we learned a few very important things about this sport. For one, it originated in China. It's a sport that's been around, um, you know, since the hundreds, long, long time. The hundreds. The hundreds. <laughs> and also that the 20 paddlers on the boat have quite a bit of power in their forearms. People who come together and say, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> than our wobbly selves, dragon boat teams like Survivor Sake's have, in addition to those freakishly strong paddlers, a tiller on the back of the boat steering and a collar on the front of the boat. Power 10 in three, two. Keeping the paddlers in time. On race day, she'll use the beat of the drum from her perch on the front of a dragon boat to keep the cadence during a 250 to 500 meter race. So it's over pretty quickly. If you're slow, it takes you three minutes. <laughs> oh and if you're fast, I've seen boats do it in two. What if you're like us and you just sit here and, and don't paddle and let the rest of the team do the work? How they, soon are we going to hear about this? They throw you out of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and say, is this is fun. Paddles, are you ready? <laughs> Good yeah! job, guys. Yeah! Keep it up. Three. The precision of it is incredible to watch. But even more incredible from inside the boat, where somehow all 20 paddlers and Three, one off time four, five, six, seven, are keeping in time and are downright excited about it. After a lovely afternoon with the ladies of Team Survivor Northwest Survivor Sake Boat. <laughs> felt like a nap. But above and beyond that, I truly felt like a million bucks. Being on a boat with so many strong and positive women paddling against cancer, it's easy to see how the tradition Three, two, and teamwork in dragon boating suits the mission of Team Survivor Northwest perfectly. Team Survivor is about supporting people, um, working their hardest, uh, trying to regain life after living with and beyond cancer. Um, and knowing that you can get strong again after you've been through all kinds of experiences. Hey, hey, hey!